Underdog Fantasy is the best and easiest place to play fantasy sports and their pick'em game. Sign up now with code Poodle and you'll double your first deposit up to $100 in bonus cash when you make your first deposit of $10 or more. It's simple. Deposit $100, get $100 free. Good luck and have fun. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden 24 franchise mode video. And today we're gonna be going over training camp mini games, one of the newest features added to franchise mode. Actually a fun feature to play during your off time, especially if you're in an online league. And there's an XP bonus and factor to this that is super important. A little XP goes a long way in franchise, trust me. You know, an extra 500, 750 every week over 10 seasons is the equivalent of an 80 overall player becoming a 90 plus. So keep that in mind, super important. I'm gonna go through a few of them so you guys get an idea for how these work, how they function, and how to play them. Before we get into the video, guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below your favorite mini camp game. And if you're excited for this new mode, I think it's pretty cool. Could end up being a time drag, but as it stands, I like it. And if you haven't already, check out Underdog Fantasy down below in the description my link will be there if you use code poodle you can get your first deposit matched up to 100 one thing to note guys training camp play mini games to improve your players for the start of the season is right at the top you can also access it from weekly strategy so you can click there but the way i would recommend doing it just to keep it all kind of organized is you go into your weekly strategy you set this up i'll make another video going over how to maximize xp gains and all of that as well but in the meantime you can skip through all of this in the meantime go right through there the key thing is going to be your focus players now one important thing is that if you do get the focus player package you actually can get one two and three extra players that is so important i highly recommend you get that the easiest way to get it is to pick a good coach uh use a current head coach and they probably come with enough xp and or the bar close enough to get that early if you start with the fresh coach you're coming in at zero which means you're probably not that close at all won't be too hard to get it probably like a few games of the season just save up and get down there but that's so important because that's how you play your mini games that is how you're going to get the extra xp but for the sake of this video guys pick what i would recommend is if you have a young quarterback you have a young player that's where you want to go so for the panthers specifically bryce young and jonathan mingo are probably the two most important players on this team to do it with remember you can go mini game available you can click on anyone some positions don't get them for instance ikki Aquanu or Ikum, I think Ikki's his nickname. If you click on him, uh, he's a guy that I would love to have as a focus player, but there's no mini games available that I could play with him. So keep that in mind. You can get the extra XP, but you can't do the mini games. So that's something to keep in mind. If you press X, you can change to the player you'd like to play with. You can do Miles Sanders, you can do anyone. I always recommend your 22 to 23 year old guys, the guys that you're trying to build nice and early. Once you're ready to actually play, click on mini game available and you can go pick. Now, something I want to note, guys, if you look at the XP gains, if you see bronze is 300, silver is 500, gold is 750. For quarterback specifically, they're pretty much all the same XP. The only thing that changes is the threshold. So on this one, you need 10K, on this one, you need 20K, and this you need 15, 25, and 35 to actually go ahead and get the gold status. So you do want to keep that in mind. There are higher thresholds, but at the end of the day, it's the same XP. So you're going to want to go ahead and pick the easiest one. I've labbed a lot of them. I, I honestly, I like past skeleton. That seems to be the easiest one for me. Outman just seems unnecessarily tough. There's extra defenders on the field. Target passing is pretty difficult. I'm going to run through a few of these as we go through. And if you just keep going through, guys, my, my best advice is just pick the one that you find the easiest because it's all the same XP. If, if the hardest ones had more XP, I'd recommend those. Another thing to note is... I know this can seem like a time drag, but if you're in an online franchise that advances every 24 hours, every 48 hours, you know you have that downtime where you're waiting for that one guy to play his last game and you have some time. Why not use it prior to the you know that week starting and playing your game? Why not use that extra time you end up accruing anyways to just get your XP in? So we're heading into it here. You can see the instructions. Complete passes within the time limit and score as many touchdowns as possible. You'll be awarded bonus points for longer passes, successful skill moves, and celebrating during the play. Completed passes will increase your multiplier and incomplete passes will reset it. Getting a continuous, consistent thing here is so important. That multiplier is the only way you're going to get to silver and gold. Make sure you make the right reads. Make sure you're not just messing around. Now, something I do want to make note here is that, look at this. If you click start, you can restart. So if you fail it, you can restart it. Now, why is that important? You might get bronze for 300 and be like, I'm not wasting my time. I'm not redoing that. Like I said before, if you have the time, do it. 750 XP, you can pretty much get every time because even if it takes you 25 tries, it's replayable. Eventually, you're going to get the right format the right set of plays the right flow and you're going to nail it 750 over four pre or well, three preseason weeks and 17 or 18 reg season weeks let's call it there 17 three let's go with 20 20 weeks not including playoffs right times 750 is going to be an extra 15,000 xp a guy at bryce young's age is going to get about an extra three upgrade points from that now if you times this over the course of nine seasons you're looking at about 135,000 xp for doing 750 if you just stick with the bronze you're looking at times 20 
times eight, you're looking at 48,000. So by going with bronze, you're essentially losing way more than half. You're losing, that's the difference between a player being 99 overall and 90 overall. Like you don't understand how big that is. Make sure you're always going for gold. Do not skimp out on getting the gold. It is replayable. It is lazy not to do so. The people who are going to have the high overall teams in your franchise are the ones who sit here and make sure they complete all their gold and they strategically do this versus the guy who just skip it. They simulate it. Do not do that. Now, as we get into it, it's pretty simple. It looks kind of like those practice drills that you do when you open the game. So the key thing here is that you may want to go for the touchdown every time. Honestly, streaks are going to be hard. If you don't have it also take take into account that I don't have Mahomes and Tyree Kill. I have DJ Chark and Bryce Young. Zero abilities It's going to make it harder. So practice games are actually going to be a little harder if you don't have the best team. Uh, but keep in mind, all you gotta do is stay in the green, make the easy read right there. You get extra points for juking, so make sure you do juke. You get extra points for celebrating. So if you have an open lane, celebrate, then juke. Sometimes, guys, you're not going to get the best set of routes. Keep that in mind as well. Sometimes I'll be like on the one yard line and get deep ins and it's just they're going out of the end zone. So right here, you want to make sure you make the easy read. It looks like it's B, hold A. If you can try to celebrate right in. So see that multiplier multiplier. And this is a great example, by the way, of bad routes for the end zone. If I have a chance, B should cut over the middle and eventually get open. He is right there. He makes the catch. You see how the multiplier is going up in the corner at this point to get gold you definitely want to keep making consistent catches take those drags because if you drop it you lose it if you lose the four times multiplier anything higher you have to restart and at that point it's better off to restart another thing when you do get into these games if you start off poor just keep restarting i like to start off with a bang that 44 in the top left corner is how much time you have to play this drill it goes in game time so once you hit snap to the moment the play ends it goes there you have a six second timer above as well which is how long you have in the pocket all key things to note i do want to make it known that this is across all game modes it has a very similar format you can play them all but it's going to be about the same thing we take x right here we do a juke we celebrate a little bit and then we go back in right there i'm going to get a ton of points for that and that's really the way you're going to hit gold you want to make sure that you're doing all the key little tidbits nothing's open here we get x you want to just take the easy route you do not want to force it into there and lose your multiplier because at this point i'm nearing one of the higher thresholds And as you guys saw right there, that is how you get gold. If you watch, you make the consistent read. It's not that hard to get. Gold is super simple. And if you have a rough start, you know, they drop a pass, which is going to happen. Just go ahead and restart. There's no harm and foul in restarting one of these drills. Now, I'm going to show you guys one wide receiver drill as well, so you can get an idea for how these work. Backfield survival, backfield survivor home base, wide receiver battle, wide receiver battle on the move, wide receiver battle, red zone attack. Again, same concept make sure you do the easy one you're gonna have to play through a few of them find the one that works for you backfield survival isn't bad you kind of just run away from people and you want to go for those boxes that are floating you're going to understand how these games work make sure you read the instructions and just make sure you keep restarting go for gold i cannot stress the xp difference so as you guys can see there's four defenders in the end zone they're going to release one at a time and each one gets increasingly harder the first one's pretty slow it looks like you're getting chased by like a d tackle uh, the second one gets much faster. Make sure that you're going for these boxes. These are stamina boost. These are how you get your points up. I missed that one. Oh no. So you gotta run, run away from him. The first one will be easy. The second one's going to be significantly harder. Make sure that you use these little blockers. That's how you're gonna get around your defenders. This can actually trip them up. You can kind of box them out here. Uh, that's how you're gonna get your time alive pretty easily. You just stay right around here. And as you see in the corner, the longer I stay alive for is going to play a part in what percentage of points I get. As you can see, that other defender stuck there too. Once he gets by you, though, it's going to be really fast. That one is a super fast one. This one's not hard if you can just strategically use these pieces and get your points. Now that third one's coming out, as you can see, these are much faster. Uh, this one, you kind of got to do like the 04 Vic on him and get around him, but that's going to be super hard as he gets me right there. But that's bronze. These are a bit harder than the quarterback ones, in my opinion, but you get the concept restart it, keep playing, get your points. So that pretty much wraps up the video for mini camps explained key thing there's other there's other there's running back drills you know you click on here there's gonna be rushing attack same concept the first one seems to be usually the easiest for me there are harder ones if you want to test your skills but in my opinion if there's xp involved take the easiest one if you want to mess around and kind of get better you can restart 100 times and do the harder ones by all means but if you're in a time crunch take the easy one get it done always get your 750 if you're really in a time crunch you can take your 500 but 750 is the goal i know i always have time just sitting in practice mode when i'm waiting for a game or something make sure you get that done it's such a big key to get your player up and i think it's actually a really good addition they made to make sure you can build up rookies which makes picks a bit more important this year because that xp at a younger age is huge that's it for the video guys make sure to check out underdog below like the video comment down below your favorite mini game thus far and that's about it thank you guys for watching i'm out peace